All right. Let's check this out. Yeah, lights looking good. Autofocus on point. She's here because I was testing lights with her. Oh, guess what's inside this? Here's my thumbnail. I'm gonna leave the title of this video surprise box for a week or something like that. I don't know, whatever. Now I'm gonna change it to something more like Fuji X-T4 unboxing in 2021. Or something like that. I'm gonna come up with something else. This is the unboxing of the Fuji X-T4. I'm a year later. I wanted this camera as soon as it came out. I was poor as fuck. Not that now I'm rich or anything, but somehow I managed to fucking get it. Thank you, Amazon. So this is my dream camera because, see, right now I don't really know if I'm in focus, if I'm in the frame, if my head is cut or not, because I used Carla, you know, to more or less figure out if everything was okay, but I cannot fucking see myself. You could say, why don't you get a fucking external monitor? And I would agree with you. But that's a fucking pain in the ass, especially since I do a lot of stuff outdoors and I'm not gonna carry my my monitor with me to vlog with it or whatever. So I needed something that opens up. That's not the only reason, but it's one of the main reasons. <gasps> oh my god, this is so beautiful. Oh, oh look at the oh oh mm. I'm gonna make love with you. Just kidding, come on. Guys, this is this is something. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so fucking excited. I wanted this so fucking bad, and now now I have it. Oh, it feels so fucking good. Oh, oh fuck you! I don't need this. Oh fuck it! <laughs> oh. Mm. oh. 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 Ooh, whoa. Feels like the X-T3 with the grip. I need to stop doing mm, ooh, ah. Yeah, let's try this baby on. Let's, let's turn it on. There's the battery. Camera strap that I will never use because it's fugly. This is the charging cable, whatever. Ah, this is the power brick. Okay, it's not the actual charger for the camera. So usually it doesn't come with a charger. You're basically charging the battery in the inside the camera. So. This looks like the battery from the Nikon D7200. I'm so excited about this. Always clean your lens before mounting it on a camera. Look at this. Bam! Dude, this is huge. Boom. Boom, Boom shakala. Oh, I need to charge it. I want to use it now! Here is the uh, headphone jack. So you don't have a dedicated headphone jack input on this camera. You have a USB-C and it's good that they're giving you, you know, the headphone thingy cable so you can attach your headphones. Let's see if we can power the camera with the power bank. Okay, so this is something that I don't really like, the fact that you have to charge the battery in the camera, so I am definitely buying a charger and some extra batteries. A moment. Turn this bad boy on. Let's go into movie mode. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially recording in 4K H.264 long GOP with the Fuji X-T4. Look at yourself, people. Look at yourself. How's your focus? Let's lower the ISO a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck? Is the autofocus actually better on the X-T4 than X-T3? Honestly. I already love this camera. The fact that I can see myself right now is like... Alrighty, so while that is charging, you and I should have a little talk. I got into Fujifilm last year around, I don't know, May, June, whatever. I was like, ooh, I kind of like this brand, I like the camera. I watched a lot of videos, I watched a lot of Zach Mayfield videos on the Fuji X-T4 and the Fuji X-T4 and the Fuji X-T4 and I really wanted the Fuji X-T4, you know? <coughs> It represented like the best 
route for me, you know, to shoot uh, vlogs and professional videos and also pictures because I'm a hybrid shooter and it seemed like the best possible uh, camera for me which wouldn't really break the bank so I spent the whole summer still you know shooting with my old Nikon and then in the autumn when I decided to open up my business I was like dude this is the moment I need to fucking buy a new camera and I did I bought the Fuji X-T3 <laughs> and you were you, you could be like are you fucking stupid you wanted the Fuji X-T4, but you bought the Fuji X-T3. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I know, I know. I can, maybe, maybe I was a little bit stupid. I Don't get me wrong, I really love the camera. I like it, I think it's a great camera. You can shoot almost everything on it. But uh, it's a pain in the ass when you have to shoot yourself, you have to shoot these kinds of videos when you never know if uh, you're in focus or if you're in the frame or if you, my head is cut or not. I mean, you can use the external monitor as I said, but when you have to go out and you have to vlog and you have to, you know, jump around, it's a little bit more difficult. I've wanted the X-T4 since I bought the X-T3. Like, I bought the X-T3, but in my heart, I really wanted the X-T4 and I dreamt about it and you fuck it. I, I, I had to buy it, I fucking had to buy it. But there is another reason for which I bought the X-T4. I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't for this. In May, I will be working on a pretty big project and I actually need two cameras for that. I will be shooting interviews. I will be shooting some photojournalistic style of pictures and having two cameras it's always a good idea in these kinds of situations so i don't have to switch lenses i have my 35 and my 85 and that's that and the 18 to 55 for when i'm shooting you know more of uh when i'm shooting vlogs or when i'm shooting something that i want to show the whole scene and uh, that's kind of it i want to travel really light i want to be i want to pack very light so two bodies three lenses two of the lenses are always attach on the body and I can always you know be like switching between bodies that's one of the other reasons and I want to have the same brand for all my cameras so that it's more consistent throughout my production so when I have to color grade something it's a lot easier and you know everything it's easier really these are the main reasons for which I you know decided to buy the Fuji X-T4. Mainly it was like a desire inside me. I want this, I need it, I love it. And then all the other stuff, which are important, you know? And I guess that's kind of it for the unboxing. Um, I'm gonna wait for the camera to charge and then I'm gonna show you a little bit more. Then I'm gonna start vlogging with it and I'll show you some sample footage and I'm gonna go out there and shoot some pictures. Let's go. All right, now it's time to really put this to a vlogging test, like real life vlogging. Let's go. Okay, so I actually came with the bike, but I'm gonna leave it here. I'm just gonna move a little bit around one foot. Ooh, look at these dudes, they look so cool. Look at them, look at them. Oh, there's a lot of people today because we've moved into a yellow zone which means everybody can go out restaurants are open until some time 10 only in the open like if they have uh, outdoors you know tables and stuff and for the rest they're closed but there's a lot of people as you can see and I'm feeling a little bit weird because it's been a while since I've last vlogged uh, you know so I don't know. You know what? Let's do something. Let's test the, the slow motion. First 120 and then 240. Come on. Fucking got 240 motherfucking frames per second with autofocus. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be soft as fuck, but it's still 240 frames per second. And I think the 120 is gonna be low. It's gonna be pretty good. Let's talk a little bit about IBIS. 
Uh, does it do the wobbly thing? Because I cannot see anything right now. I don't know. So if I'm just walking with the 18 to 55, remember that it's a stabilized lens and there's IBIS in the camera also. I mean, I wouldn't, I didn't really mind it when it was on the X-T3, but now it should be even smoother. Now, I don't expect it to be like, you know, gimbal smooth. I still want to see the movement because I'm vlogging and I want to see people, I want people to see that I am moving like a human being. I'm starting to love this camera more and more and I haven't even used it that much. It is pretty damn good to see the city coming back to life again. I mean, not that people wouldn't go out but you know with the bars closed and everything closed it would be usually it was harder and was sadder for you know the whole situation was sad because you couldn't you wouldn't see anything you wouldn't see the life in the whole city you know what i mean people are just having fun look behind me it's full All right, all right, all right. I've had the camera for a couple of hours, you know, using it, just testing it out, and I must say that I am in fucking love with it. Um, I think it's a huge improvement f f over the X-T3. I think that if you're a photographer mainly and don't really give a fuck about video, you're gonna be happy with the X-T3. It basically does the same thing, more or less. If you shoot video, and if you shoot vlogs, and if you need IBIS, I mean, there's literally uh, no reason to not buy this camera. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna end this vlog here, because I hope I can manage to keep it under 10 minutes, and uh, people, this has been it. I'm gonna leave you with an incredibly beautiful time-lapse and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.